Welcome to Loving's Guitar, where I like to talk about guitars and, you know, what they do to me and how they make me feel. And today, well, mm, here's the thing, folks. I'm a bit, I'm a bit, I guess, of a Harley Benton uh, fanboy. All right, so I had to get, uh, you know, uh, a version like this, so something like that I had before. But there is a difference, and the difference is that today we're exploring really what this all amounts to. So what I'm meaning by this is that what I like uh, this Harley Benton experience, uh, if anything, that it has uh, broadened me and enlightened me about, is that uh, I'm not afraid to work on my own guitars. How about that? I mean, I can't believe I went through decades of just not, not touching my guitars, always giving it to some guru, you know, some you know, guitar workshop to do everything, you know? So long story short is this. Uh, now, folks, I, I think of maybe a month, two months ago, three months. I don't know how old. Well, you guys can see in the history. I, I did a review of this, okay? All right, so, and, and I've had this one for a while, okay? Um, so, you, anyway, you know, I'm not doing a review of this. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'm doing a review of this either, because this just, well, it didn't just come in. It's been, I've been, it's, I've had it for a while now. But it came in about, I don't know, two years, three years after that one, you know, so uh, what I did get to notice is that there is a quality difference. And what I'm trying to point out and, and, and really draw attention to is the fact that we are progressing as a, I, well, not we, because I don't have any stock investment in Harley Benton or Toman as a witness here. I've come to realize it's not so much the name on the headstock that really quantifies the value of whatever it is you're holding or you want to bring into your home or you want to spend time with, you know. Sure, there's, there is a, um, a return for your investment for a, a name that is on here that would sig signify, well, you had the means to actually buy something like that. So... Good for you, you know, and, and you should be rewarded for that. And, and, you, and you deserve that big brand name that, that goes there. I know I have when I bought those brand names. <laughs> and, and it's a good thing. So um, uh, and what I want to point out is that I think the Harley Benton thing, I think integrity at, at a lower price point. So much so that it kind of startles the whole industry. And I like the fact that now that there's other brands kind of like in this general fighting, you know, uh, vicinity, you know, they're not, they're not competing with, uh, you know, I don't think of Harley Benton as competing with the Gibsons and Fenders. You know, I think, you know, <laughs> to some extent, <clears throat> The best part of what's going on right now in the guitar manufacturing industry is <laughs> the consumer <laughs> is getting a great, great big bang for his or her buck, or they or them buck. So what I'm saying is that, man, <laughs> so 200 years, not 200 years, <laughs> $200 you know, uh, 30 years ago got you a whole lot less of what $200 can buy nowadays. How about that? <sighs> so anyway, long story short, as a matter of integrity, you know, uh, uh, you want to do your do the best as any manufacturer. If you're the manufacturer, you just, just do your best, okay? And okay, there's going to be some stuff that slips through the cracks, you know, it went... Uh, accidentally went through inspection and if that happens okay so it then it's that shining moment that's available for the manufacturer or the retailer to honor how they will uh, complete to this 
transaction in a positive manner. I think Tolman has done an excellent, excellent job if, uh, if you do your own research results about it. And uh, anyway, long story short, so <laughs> I've, begun, I've been growing more and more fond of this particular model. And it's not one of their, you would say, their higher ending models. Because uh, the fusion line, uh, the, the higher endy stuff is much better. I not much better, just a different, it's a different thing. Stainless steel frets, stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> you know, the wood, the wood is maybe alder. You know, uh, different uh, trim systems. Some have different pickups, different valued pots. Maybe better, better, better pots. Anyway. This is like on a kind of squire-ish level pots, you know. But to tell you, I trust these pots more than the squire stuff. That's just my honest... I, I wish I had my squire here. I, because all of my Harley Benton 62s beat my two squires, which I got rid of, actually. I'm sorry, Fender, but or squire. But um, anyway, long story short... Um, so I got another one, right? But here's the difference now. I, yeah, I, I wanted to find out if where if all my effort was worth what I get, what I got out of it, what I'm gonna get out of it. I wonder if this is all worth it. Let's see. So in this guitar, which is basically the same as this guitar, yet there's a lot of modifications that when they're completely two different. Well, they should be. Well, because let me do some explaining. Other than the fact that they're, they're both Harley Bentons, they're both with maple necks, both with this, with you know three single coil and six point trims. Um, they both okay. So that's about you know the stock stuff. All right. So now here comes now the mods. So let's consider this our control, because this is a brand new one. Our, our, our newest one. Who knows? I might get another one because I just love them. Why not? In every room. They're so good. They're easy to play. Anyway, look, hey, let's move on to this one. Here's, this is the one that's modded now. In this one, we have Fender Eric Johnson Signature Series pickups. We have uh, uh, replaced the bridge with a Wilkinson. Uh, we have wired the now uh, the once unwired bridge pickup to tone control, which is basically the standard version of all strats back in the day, right? They weren't wired that way, but I wired it while I had this thing open. Well, I you know I foil I copper foiled the entire under pickguard, under the pickguard, and then all the cavities. Then while that was, I was doing that, I figured, well, uh, let me add a tone bleed. So I added a tone bleed circuit. But I did also change the tuning pegs to locking tuners. And most importantly, if you're going to get any trim system, put those uh, rollers. You know, the roller trees, they really help. Okay. Now behind here, we just have the standard block, <laughs> which I call what the ha the half the half block. <laughs> All right, so basically the same thing, right? So except for this has got the Eric Eric Johnson pickups. Well, look, I still have the the plastic. I mean, let's get this off. I've had enough of this plastic. Because I uh, I decided that this guitar should really be a keeper. Sorry, uh, yeah. Put it on reverb. But you know what? That's it. Fuck it. This is gonna be my guitar. I'm gonna and I'm gonna point out why. Despite having that Eric John with the Eric Johnson pickups, which I I like. I like very much. Yeah. When I first, you know plug them in, you know, you get that, it's like that first 
date with your girl and go out and you're just so excited you just you just can't believe you're just with her you, you don't you don't you don't, you're so far beyond wanting to kiss her you're just too thrilled about even just the idea of holding her hand and so you get that you know those first couple of hours the maybe days like that you know you're in that honeymoon sort of phase with a with an instrument yeah, you know what? <laughs> you know I'm gonna leave some of that plastic there. It's a little more hideous. You know that. Uh, okay, so uh, all right, so they both pretty much weigh the same. Lucky, I'm so lucky. Is it now luck though that both of these guitars weigh under seven pounds? This one at six, six and a half, and this one I think it's just about six and a half to a six five, six pounds, six, six pounds, five ounces, six pounds, six ounces. I happen to just be lucky. Some, like, uh, anyway, we're going to find out if putting those pickups, which cost nearly twice as much as the guitar itself did, versus just this guitar with its stock Roswell pickups. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so... Other than this being stock, okay, I'm gonna, I, I did a little bit of cheating. All right, so you, as you can see, I added the rollers right, uh, right over here because I think that's very important. If you're gonna play with the whammy bar, <laughs> right? Another thing too, I took out, so this is a six point trim. <laughs> Lied, no, 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 I, I took out four of the screws, so that's only two left. So now this becomes a two point trim. <laughs> Poor man's two point trim, I'm converting a six pointer. And you know what? It works. It works. Now, I'm not saying it's going to probably... I don't know. I, I No guarantees for anybody else who does these things. Don't poke yourself in the eye on my behalf. All right, so that's about it. So we're going to see what the differences are. What a difference a day makes. We're going to find out in just a moment. Hold on. I think it's time we plug you in. Yes, you plugged. Yes. Oh, I love when you get plugged in. Ah, oh, ow. Plugged. <laughs> plugged. <laughs> okay, plugged. I'm going to plug you in. So, let's plug Slimy in. Uh, yes, that's her name. This is Slimy. Because, I don't know. She reminds me of Slime. That's nothing, but I'm not going to say that she is a slimy type of girl. That's creamy. Creamy, like, like, like cream, like, like Boston cream. Okay, so slimy versus creamy. Creamy, slimy, creamy, slimy, creamy. All right. Sounds like, now really? That sounds Told you. How about this one? Mm -hmm. Let's do this. All right, so let's start with the neck pickup. Plastic's not in the way.
sorry. We'll do that again. Thank you. 
I think we had enough. So what do you think, folks? I don't know. Can I keep this video this short? Does it make any sense? To... I don't think I hear much of a difference, really. Okay, so what did I get out of this? Well, I got a guitar that cost me like three times the price. Um, I think I got a guitar that uh, makes me feel good about it still, despite me putting in something that, well, I don't know if it really contributed much to making it sound different from this one. And this one, I didn't do anything. Getting, you know, years ago, when you need, wanted a guitar or anything, you had to, con and if you were young, you had to convince your parents to dish out, like, you know, a month of salary in order to get, like, a piece of crap guitar. Nowadays, and yet this is going to get you so much more in return. So, value. Cosmetics? <laughs> Cosmetics, it's, it's cosmetically beautiful. Both of these things, Right? They both have these beautiful, phenomenal roasted necks.
bridge pickup. <laughs>
point down, everyone says that's easy, right? Doesn't go out of tune. You set it up right. secret sauce and you learn how to do it and then <laughs> somewhere the girls are the best girl the girls in my flock are, are my girls yeah they're good I have good girls in my group I don't know about you guys or what kind of if your axes are boys mine are girls except for like I said I have to be trans right you know it's it, <clears throat> Being a guitar player means that you might have to consider actually being a parent. <laughs> what a concept, right? That means you take care of your guitars now. <laughs> I know. I mean, to tell you the truth, I take care, better care of these guitars uh, that, you know, <laughs> considering, like, you know, like, <laughs> you know, the, the really good guitars I've had in my life. And, uh, you know, I, I, I would have just sent them off to the you know, guitar shop, you know, to get their bi-yearly setups and stuff, you know. Um, but now that, you know, I have more time, <laughs> I do it more on my own, and I enjoy this. So I set all my guitars. I like setting them all up, like, exceptional. I like, you know, <laughs> but there's some, some guitars I like better than others because... Just the way I also, they're not all set up the same. There's not like one type of Waldo set up or thruster set up, you know. 
So there's a, no, I have certain guitars that actually have higher actions because I kind of like that digging in um, tactile feeling. And there's some that I, I have the strings really close, really low action, and I, didn't, and I just feel very finessey and I can blow on them, you know. I have to, it's a different approach. I don't want them all to feel the same. Now, in this case, these two, I kind of, I did my best to keep them as much feeling the same because both obviously have the same necks, made by the same company under the same specs, technically. Um, they both have caramelized, what they call caramelized necks, vintage necks, you know. Or is that another word for roasted? I don't know. Whatever it is, that I love these necks, and that's the reason why, you know, I have several other ST62s, just this, this particular model, which is very easy to modify. And that's one of the things that, you know, is so cool about Harley Benting, isn't it? Is the fact that, you know, you get, you, you get into this sort of hobby then. You may, you may not have known that it was a hobby, other than the fact that you could be a pro. But you don't have a hobby that actually in, may include, like, you know, repairing or modifying, altering, you know, uh, your guitars, your axes, right? Because it's your axe, and then you don't want to do that. You send it to the luthier, the guitar shop, do this, do that, cut a bone nut for me, raise the action or lower the action, intonate it for me, you know, fix the fret buzz, deal with the truss rod, can you do that? There's the electronics problem. Is sometimes the plug doesn't go in, and the, the, the strap lock broke, I don't know, just dumbass stuff like that you could have done yourself, right? So one of the things I like best about, like, you know, the, this, uh, this new era, I would say, well, actually, it's not a new era because the savvy people have already been uh, in on the joke, a real judge of this affair, whatever relationship I have with these two chunks of wood over here, this one and that one, I think we'll, it's all going to boil down to like just taking out the effects and just hearing what the guitar does by itself. You know. So uh, it was slimy that actually inspired this particular piece that I'm, I'm going to present to you. I don't know why I chose oh, just in, well, I was kind of like in a samba bossa nova sort of feeling. I don't know why that never happens to me. Well, that doesn't happen. Well, it doesn't often happen to me. I know this is going to be a good day, I think. Don't you think? I think it's already turning out good. All right, so. Oh, today we had an earthquake uh, that earlier in the morning. Oh, it was just 4.8, apparently, in the Richter scale. Big deal. I know. Yeah, I lived through it. Yeah, I look, the lights are still on. I was inspired by Slimy to do mm, this. Okay, so let's see what uh, Creamy can do. I bet you're wondering if these pickups are going to make a difference. Rhythm pickup, just like with Slimy. All the knobs are turned up, and that's not usually how I play, but this is what we're going to do just so for testing. <laughs>
know if that's a good re uh, representation, but let's try. Let's try this again, folks. Okay. Hi, folks. I'm back. You know, I came. I I, I lived through an an earthquake today. That's right. We had an earthquake here in uh, in. Well, I we felt one. I was on Long Island. I felt it. It was vibrant. The house was vibrating this morning. What, what's today's date? It's Friday. That's what it is. It's Friday. It, it, today the house moved. All right. So let's keep going with the. <sighs> Did, oh, oh, that's right. If for chance, if by chance I didn't, I, I, I don't know if it says it on the, the, the thumbnail. <sighs> this is an SD62. This is the one that's modded. <laughs> dynamic I just saw that I don't know how that came out on YouTube land because it's probably all compressed but it's over here it's like okay all right so I want to take note of that I just right now I'm gonna take note of it right now let's go right now to that we were in the I kind of moved my pick up there, but I don't know how long I was playing in the out of phase position. But I want to hear something here, because there was a, there's a more of a dynamic subtleness that I was hearing. The other one is the other one. These pickups uh, with the Eric Johnson pickups are more dynamic. Definitely, I did hear. Not only is it a little bit louder, it could be the pickup height. No, these are the pretty much. No, actually, these look a little even lower than those. Um. Mm -hmm. Woo! That's. I mean, that's a crack right there, right? And I do like that because a lot of times I I like to play with just right over the pickups. Lot of places to play on the guitar, so and I like a little bridge pickup.
it, this is, maybe it's, it's, it's the effects of pre-drinking. That's, I, I didn't drink a thing today. Maybe it's the effects of just the idea that I may be drinking. Well, just a drink, uh, I'll be a, consuming just a little bit, a, a little bit of alcohol. Not a lot, not a lot, because I don't want to do that. Because I don't, I, that's not my intention, because then if I do that, I can't play it. I don't, I, you know, I like to play. So, okay, I'll be honest with you. Right off the bat, I'm feeling a dip. I, I feel a dip. You know what? I I think I've mentioned this several times in several episodes, pretty much in all my episodes, and I'm a very tactile type of person. I gotta t- I'm, a, I'm a touchy-feely person. Does that make any sense to you? Like, <laughs> I don't care how good the bananas look. I got to touch them. <laughs> Does that make any sense? You know, I, I have to, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's it's usually love at first feel. <laughs> this, all right, <coughs> slimy, you really bring the you bring. She brings out these disturbing images. Is it an image? I don't know. Is it a moving image? It's slimy though. Oh God, I almost don't want to touch you anymore. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> okay, Simon, Simon really takes me to a whole new level. But, you know, that's what I like about guitars. You know, that's what makes them so rich, folks. You know, don't we want to be rich? What is rich? I, you know, some people are called rich and some I, their names are actually rich, you know, like from Richard, you know. But if you weren't Richard and but yet you wanted to feel rich, or let's just not, let's not say like I, it's not a monetary thing, but it's like rich and like like gravy, you know, like thick, you know. Condense like maybe rich with love, yeah, love, you know, you know, like you know, rich with that, you know, or just just uh, completely enveloped, you know, in, in like enriched, right? So, <laughs> it, you know, if at em- any moment this makes sense to you, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, you know, if it, you know, write a comment. Maybe I might. Usually I respond, you know, for nice, for nice comments, I'm going to respond nicely. For the bad, ugly ones, oh, I can only send your mother some condolences. <laughs> I love you all. Why don't you all just stand one, one behind one another so I can just slap all of you? Oh, God, I almost hit creamy <laughs> with slimy. <laughs> All right, so back to the show. The show, the show. I think it was. I, isn't this what the thumbnail should say? Like slimy versus creamy, creamy versus slimy. Um, I wonder who wins. You know, if you stick around, maybe you're gonna find out who won. Who who won the fight? Is there a fight? You know what? Chicks fight. You know, isn't that sexy? That is kind of sexy when chicks fight. It is kind of disturbing for the one that loses, because the one that loses has usually a chunk of hair that's lost, you know, and the one that wins usually has a whole mat of hair in their hands, you know. Oh, yes. Anyway, folks, <laughs> I don't know why we got off topic, because that's what's gonna happen when you watch this show you know this show i think it started as a as a, as a, um, a, a guitar appreciation a music appreciation channel you know you know for those who even like music but need to be reminded that other people like music and they're kind of like completely bonkers and and maybe there's this a part of you that kind of agrees with the, this those people those, those, them, they, you know, <laughs> like me, <clears throat> I could be one of those, you know, I, I'm in a, I'm in a transitional kind of mode right now, I'm transition, I'm transitioning, <laughs> I'm tra- look at me, I'm transitioning, I'm, 
uh, look, no, 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 no. Let, let's let's be serious, because there's some people out there who are really transitioning, and everyone who's transitioning for whatever they're transitioning to, or, or transitioning away from, God bless from whatever they need to continue. Uh, I blow more more wind into your sails. I don't know what this has to do with slimy, because this is definitely we're going off the. We're going back. We're going back to plane. Hold on. Let me find my pick. Okay. Oh no, you know what? <clears throat> let's not play with the pick. Let's just let. Let's just think sound. So. <laughs> Do you hear much of a difference? No, I'm not really hearing much of a difference. All I know is that I spent literally three times more of stuff than that. I, I still love them both. <laughs> and I did enjoy, you know, I guess to some extent I did enjoy putting the pickups in. You know, I've done, well, I, which I've done too many guitars. <clears throat> and why do I do these things? I don't know. Why do girls get manicures? You know, why do why why do they go to the beauty pro? You know, what? I have to say to girls, you know, hats off to you girls, because you girls get she sheds. <laughs> what do we get? We get man caves. Who? I don't, that doesn't sound appealing to me. I'd rather be in a she shed. Actually, that was always my preference. You know, you, you know what's like. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go meet. I'll meet you at the she shed. What have I learned from this? I'm not really sure what I learned from this. All I, I think, cause I keep relearning the same thing. There's a lot of few things that I have relearned. One being that sometimes, believe it or not, your modifications don't really modify really anything. It's not really a big deal. Like the dramatic improvement that you think you were supposed to get because. You made a big investment was supposed to change everything in your guitar, you know? And uh, I, and I think, I have a feeling there's many guitarists out there who are, are ashamed or like maybe they feel like, oh God, I spent so much money. I got to say that it's, I have to agree why it's cooler and better when in fact it was better the way it was. Now, I'm not saying that, I don't know. How about this? Because before I, I uh, upgraded her, you know, I was already taking a big liking to her. Uh, <laughs> and since I uh, installed the Eric Johnson pickups, I actually have for, found more time with her. So... Whether or not the Eric Johnson pickups actually make that much of a sonic difference, I don't know. I do know, I did notice, though, <clears throat> that these pickups, I was able to get a, a better dynamic range out of them. Whereas the other pickups on, this, on Slimy, which is just as the, the stock Roswell pickups that come with Harley Benton, they were a little bit louder... Yet they were, you know, they were even further spaced down. All the same space. Pretty much the same. Anyway. But in... T uh, this... Oh, my God. Oh, God. This is a, this is a hard... This is a hard... 
I mean, I wonder what you guys think. I mean, hey, listen, I value everybody's opinion about what there's what they actually hear. I don't expect you to have my ears. And and here's an interesting thing about guitar players, just like <clears throat> what's the name of the guy who screams all the time at Spectre Sound? Glenn. Is that it? You know how he goofs on guitar players? <clears throat> they hear with their eyes. Oh yeah, but that looks so good. So I, gotta, yeah, I can hear, and they hear everything because they look so good. And I get that. <clears throat> I'm a guitar player. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so, but I also get his understanding of things when you remove the guitar player out of it and you just listen to a, a sound. I'm, a, I'm able to separate myself to that and then say, well, hey, how much of an improvement did I actually make? I know I spent a lot more money. <clears throat> like the you know the, the the pickups and this is twice as much cost twice as much than than, than this guitar cost. You know and I you know I, I did get to put in uh, locking tuners. Oh, they're all, I got them from Amazon. Well, they music lilies or something. I don't know. Actually, I'm not crazy about them. I I like these better. These are. I also got them from Amazon. I can't, I have to, can't remember if anybody re knows what they are. You can tell me. Some typical stuff you can find at Amazon. Big deal. <laughs> anyway, they didn't really. I, they, locking tuners to me only means that you, just the convenience of uh, clamping down on the string at the pe at the peg. Big deal. So other than that, what you really need to make sure that you have, uh, especially uh, <clears throat> uh, a working guitar. That it's going to be a strat type, and if you're going to use the whammy bar at all, you need to put the rollers on it. You know, you need to put the rollers. Take the little string trees off. Put the rollers on. If you're gonna, if you're gonna play with your whammy bar, you need to know how to. If you're going to float your bridge, when actually learn how to float your bridge correctly. And if you want, and there's a lot of ways, well, there's one way to do it and to just do it right. And it's, okay, you know, everyone should know this. And I think I'm going to make an episode devoted to just that. Okay, I think I've been inspired to do that. So, but anyway, so all, pretty much all my uh, S strat types, or strats, <laughs> uh, they're all floaters. Except for one, uh, which I made a, a hardtail. And the reason why is because, I, hey, listen, I know how to float bridges now and not worry about it. It, it always, it'll stay in tune, you know, because if you do it right, you should. <laughs> So now let's pull up. How about that, see? So, so, who wins the, the, the fight out? Who, who wins this, 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 this? This does sound more bright, I think. What about the treble pickup? I mean, bridge. Bridge again. Let's do bridge on this. Bridge. Okay, big difference. This one is there's, there's more drive. It literally sounds like more gainy. Not not necessarily louder, but right? Doesn't it sound more gainier?
later, Bagini. I probably just knocked it out. See, this is brighter. But not more more gainier. Doesn't does that make any sense? Definitely more gainier, more like a something better in like in the lower middle range. Yeah. These are the Harley Benton ST62s, which I obviously see. Well, I'm quite fond of. And what do you think? First, does it, does it mean much that this one here has Eric Johnson pickups? I mean, the pickups alone cost twice as much as a guitar. Or uh, this. ST62, which is completely stock. All right. Maybe I played with it a little bit. I took four screws out of the six-point tram. <laughs> but other than that, it's, you know, and, you know, and I, and I put the rollers in. Okay, I cheated a little bit. I put the rollers in there. And I did set it up. I gave it a proper setup. It actually rested in this house for a long time. I wasn't, I can't really be, that foolish on a guitar, I think, about trying to say that you can evaluate a guitar as soon as it gets into your home after it's been traveling across the seas through like you know high atmospheres and, and different condensations and just acclimations of of temperature. I mean, to think about you know like I think anybody who gives a review of a guitar, literally, that they just get from across from overseas. They open the box and they just and they just got it, whatever. Um, and they're opening it, right? I think it's all it's all. There's n that video is just worthless. Every video, every video that's ever been made that way, because the what's really you really want to know what the real condition of the, the instrument is going to be and what the real presentation of any instrument is going to be, especially one. Is, I'm here to hear me out. Especially one that travels from a drastic climate, from from the climate that you're in, but include also it's got to go way up there with high condensation, come back down again, and, and then you it's it's a dramatic temperature change, freaked out temperature change difference that's going on into these pieces of wood, plastic, and steel. A lot of things are happening, so you got to let this stuff this. These organisms, because there's a there's a there's wood in here too. I mean, you see, you know, it's not all plastic and steel, and steel can rust too. But point is, you got to give it time. So you know, in all of these girls, you know, I give it time. So one of the things I don't really do too much of is do unboxings. And if I do, I the joke is really that uh, <laughs> the box has been in the house for a while. <laughs> And I do have, uh, I, uh, I like to display the strength not to open the box for like a week, you know, so, and then do that. Um, and I actually give, give these girls a chance to make their first impression, you know. Anyway, that's my story of how, um, well, I don't know what the story is, man. The story is just that I like these guitars, and that's why I got another one. And then the test was whether or not I made a big difference in um, tone. I don't know. What do you think? Okay, thanks for watching. And if you like these kind of bananas, then feel free to you know, subscribe. That would be a blast. It doesn't cost you anything. It does scratch my itch. <laughs>
<laughs> Leave a comment if you like these type of videos. And let me know if you have an ST62, Harley Benton, and uh, if you've done any mods. I'd like to hear about it. Because, hey, we're all in here together. Let's help each other out. Let's not be snobs and make a... Make ourselves, other people feel uncomfortable for not being blessed to have the big old names, brand names. And because uh, I'm one of those people too. I have those big brand names too. But I like these too. I like these too. These are, they deserve to be on the road just as much as the big boys do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time I get all choked up about, you know, something new in the house to play. Thanks for watching. Bye.